Today I'm going to do a little tutorial here for you um, for how to do lyric videos. Very pleased to be able to do this and I hope it's really useful for you. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up iMovie uh, as that is where you're going to make uh, your lyric videos on. Brilliant thing about this is that it's free. Um, it is a bit glitchy, a bit clunky in places, but you know what? It, it essentially definitely has the tools for you to do whatever you need to do with it. Uh, and being free is a, is, a, is a great benefit. So when we've opened up here, um, down on the left-hand side here, you see your, your iMovie library. Um, now, it depends how you want to organize your stuff, but um, I would suggest you right-click here and hit New Event. Just right-click anywhere in that gap, hit New Event, and let's call that Gary's Music for this sake. Because once that's there, then what we're going to do is we're going to import whatever music you want to use in there. And you can always go to it and find your tracks real easy then. So hit Import Media. And oh, this is where we're going to import your songs. Um, in this case, of course, I don't know where you're going to keep your songs on your machine. Um, uh, you know, so obviously uh, you need to go to wherever it is that you want to find your stuff. Um, but that's simple enough, I'd imagine. Um, so I'm just going to find here, so I, I've dropped one of your songs onto uh, my desktop. So I hit, I select that and I hit import media and then there is your track now, okay. Um, so if, if, I was, if I was to press space bar with the thing in here, you can hear it. Okay, now when I've done that, I want to drop that into the timeline right here. So I'm going to grab hold of it, okay grab hold of it like that and keep my left mouse button down while I drag it into the audio track here. Now it won't go, why? Because this is a video making program. So what you've got to do is to put a background in. Here across the backgrounds here you can either make your own background uh, and import it where we were before in my media. You could drop your backgrounds into there, anything you want, music videos, anything you want. doesn't really matter. Um, uh, but yeah, you want to go to either backgrounds and drop in something along here that come with it, just a black background or some other kind of video thing like this or like this, whatever else. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to use one of these videos I've got here and I'm going to drop it into the timeline just by dragging it with my left mouse button. Um, expand it, make it bigger or small, doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to duplicate that now by copying and pasting. Just like that, copy paste, copy paste, or just paste, 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 paste until I've got whatever I've got. Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, whatever it is. Um, hope that makes sense. Now let's go back to the Gary's Music tab, and now I can drop in this audio, as you see, in under here. Let go of it, and there is your song. Okay, so now I can drag this to wherever I want to drag it. But essentially, as soon as I put this play line then to the left, hit space bar. We've now got your music to this video. Okay. Beautifully recorded that guitar, by the way. I'd like to know what mic you used. Very cool. Okay. Now we want to put in our title. So if you go to the top here, it says titles right there. And this is where it gets glitchy, I've got to say, Gary. Um, and that's because you can buy the much better program called Final Cut. Um, iMovie is to Final Cut what GarageBand is to Logic. So iMovie is the is like the stripped back free version. So it has limitations. If you want to go for a title that just works and you get the maximum control over it, I would go for one of these here that says Centered. And if you again, if you left mouse click that, highlight it, drag it down, you can see where you're going to drop it. Um, and we're going to find our first line wherever that is. So it's on Though Your Sins, okay. So that's when it's lined up. Now what I can do is I can drag this to, to whatever size I want. Again, left mouse clicking it, but let's just put it um, to whatever, 8 seconds, 9 seconds for now. I'm going to double click on that and it will open it up in the pane here. So I can then central justify left, right, justify it, whatever I want to do. I can select my font here. And the size of the font. You can't do that with with some of these titles. Some of them are automated and they can get quite a pain because they're stretching and morphing and everything. It depends on what you want. You play around with it. I'm going for the best one here. Um, so let's check out your lyrics here. Though your sin. Be a scarlet, right? So let's say we put the whole of that line on. 
though your sins be as scarlet. Now, whoops, with this one, you can, um, with this particular one, you can just put your cursor anywhere you want and hit space and do whatever. Um, highlight it, left mouse click again, and you can change the size here um, to whatever you want it to be, roughly, as long as it will fit, then it will fit. And then once you've done that, just come back down, and this is where sometimes it gets a bit glitchy. Just click off the tile, and then it should be fine. That's a little bit short. So I'm going to drag it to here just before you say they. And if you've now got your titles the way you want them to look, I would suggest you grab this again, left mouse click it to highlight it, uh, Command C to copy it, or obviously right click and copy. Drag your cursor to where you want to go next, and Command V, and and you have your next one there. For they shall be as white as snow. Okay, so again, highlight it, double click it, rather highlight it. There we have as white snow. Again, to make it look better, I would suggest you do something like that. But hey, this is totally up to you. They should be as white as snow. Click back on the timeline here. But I made that too long that time, right? So quick way to do this with timing is just to grab your play, your play line again. Hit space bar. So I want to cut it right on he. That's just at the beginning of he. Highlight again there, and if you do Command B as a shortcut, or you can right click and hit split, then it will cut that in half. I'm going to take the second half, get your lyric on that one. So far that. He removes your sin so far that. He removes your sin. Whoops. So far that, okay, uh, we should be in line now. And so on. And you would do the next bit and the next bit and the next bit. And then what you can do ever then to synchronize, if it's not quite right, left mouse click and just drag your titles where you want them and drop them again and it'll do that. If you want to shunt it up a little bit to the left, you can just drag it in to the to the title on the left and it will shorten the one on the left for you. Um, likewise, if this one isn't quite long enough, just highlight it there uh, on the right and you can drag it and take it left or right. And so that's how you synchronize it. The other things you can do if you want to highlight the video, for example, and you want to slow it down, highlight that, go to your time clock here and go to speed, slow, for example. Okay, now if you do that, it's going to drag your titles out. But I'm just showing you that you can set then the timing of that video to, to look better, 25%, let's say. Okay, and then the video will play much slower, as you see. Or you might want to set it to 50%. It's up to you. That one's just a, that's just a demo something for you. The other thing you can do is when you've highlighted the video track, you can go to this color palette here and you can mess about with your brightness and contrast. You can mute the whole thing down. You can take your color level up or down or whatever else so that you can, even with free videos that are available online or whatever else, you can still adjust them to how you want them to be. Uh, if there's anything you don't like, you can just hit the reset button here on reset all and I'll take it back to its original. So as a demo, here we go. Let's try it out and go full screen check it. Okay. Now let's say that we've finished the song, so for argument's sake let's just get rid of these extra bits that we put in here before. I put far too many in just for the sake of the demo, but anyway. Wow, I really did put a lot in. How many did I put? Okay. Um, again, that Command-B thing, really useful, so if I highlight the audio track in this case, 
and Command B. That will just cut the other half of it. I'm just going to delete that out. Okay, so let's say this is how I want it. Um, oh, sorry, transitions. If you want to put a transition at the beginning, for example, a cross dissolve, just drag that into there. There's a two second dissolve on there so that the thing starts like this now, fades in. Okay. And then you can do the same at the end of the thing here as well. Drop in a two second there, or three second, four second, and it'll do that. If you're if you're if you're um, putting a transition on audio, you can grab this little dot that appears when you put your left mouse click, and you just drag that like that, and that'll fade your audio out as far as you want it to. Just say, just in case you've got one that you want to do that with. Doubt you would, but if you did. Okay. Now, when we're ready, just go up to the top right hand side here. That's your export or share button. You're going to go to file. Title it, Scarlet Lyric Video, let's put in this case. Um, you can select then your resolution. If you're going up to YouTube, I would highly recommend you go to a resolution of 720, not 540, and it won't let you do 1050 uh, in this case. Uh, quality high, okay, there's all these different ones, but I would go with high. It drastically reduces your file size and your upload speed. Compress, I would go for faster. It's perfectly fine at faster. I've hardly noticed any difference with... Uh, better quality and it massively affects your file size as well. You can see here this is at 92 megabytes at the moment. If I go to better quality um, and go to best pro res, that's going to jump up from 90 megabytes up to 560 megabytes. So, you know, it's five times or six times the size of the file and you will notice virtually no difference. Better quality, sorry um, for compression, just makes the rendering of this file uh, longer. Um, and you again will hardly notice any difference. Anyway, go for that. Let's say 720 high, faster. That's one I've used over and over and over again. Go to next. It will then ask you, where do you want to put this? So in this case, I'm just going to drop this on my desktop. Okay. Um, you can put it wherever you want, clearly. Um, and hit save. And then it's going to start rendering. Look at the top right hand corner here. If you want to click on that, you can do, and it will tell you how long it's going to take, but you can see the clock. On a standard song, five minutes or whatever, it'll take less than two minutes. It's very quick. It's a brilliant, brilliant program. And the time is taken in typing out your your um, your lyrics and getting them spread out right and timed correctly. Um, so it's going to get to full. Just wait for it. Don't close the program yet. You're waiting for a background process to finish. And it will tell you when it has in just a second. It will pop up as a notification. So this might sound a bit like, oh my goodness, at first, but once you get into the habit of this, you know what it does. You know what the program's limitations are. You know what you can do it. I like to milk a program for as much as as it's worth. So I sometimes do some real messing around here to, to, to get things uh, looking the best I can get them without them to spend any money. Um, and you can do well. I've done tons of our kids' work videos and stuff in this, um, and it really works. Still waiting on that notification just to come up. Uh, the, the video, the file has been written now, but it's just finishing it off. So before we close iMovie, we're just waiting for it to say that it's been shared successfully, which it should have shown by now. Where are you? Come on. Um, you know what? For now, we can just minimize this. It's fine. Uh, there it is on your desktop. In this case, Scarlet Lyric Video MP4. So I'm going to double click that and take a look at it. It'll open up in. Uh, Quick time player, have a look, see what it does. And there you have it. Let me just zoom it forward. Okay. Uh, and then I guess you know what, what else to do after that. Um, you'd be loading up something like Chrome um, or, or Safari or whatever you're using as your browser. Go to your YouTube channel, which I'm sure you have. If you don't, just start your own YouTube uh, channel, open that up create or post video up here, upload video, <clears throat> and you can either, this is um, again the great thing about uh, modern apps today, you can just drag your file down here if you want to, or go to select file and it will open up your browser, and you can tell it where to look, in this case I'm going to drag it, just whack it into there, and it's going to start to upload. Okay, and then you can title it here, give some information about the song, give scripture references, give a link to where they can find your other music, whatever you want to do there. Um, it's uploading here, as you see, so that's going to take probably 10 minutes at the most. 
Um, in the meantime, you can do your information if you want to, or you can hit next and go to video elements. You have to put this in these days, yes it's made for kids or no it's not. If you hit yes it's made for kids, you can't monetize it, that means you can't put adverts over it to make money through sponsorship off it, although you have to have thousands and thousands and thousands of views to make any money off YouTube these days anyway. Um, but if you put yes it's made for kids, that doesn't only mean yes it's suitable for kids, it means you can't monetize it. They will not put advertising in front of children's faces is the point. Um, so you pick whichever one you want there, um, you know, in this case it's not made specifically for children, so you could put no, it's not made for kids. That doesn't mean that kids can't view it, that's not what it means. Uh, and hit next again. Your video elements, you can add various things which most of the time you perhaps are not going to need to or want to do. And visibility, you're going to set it as public or unlisted so anyone with a link can see it or private, it's up to you. And then you can actually um, schedule a date you want to make it public. So if you want to release a whole album of lyric videos, maybe set maybe hit schedule so it'll still upload to your YouTube channel but nobody can see it until a particular date that you have selected. And then they would all go live on whichever date you've set it to. So that's another way to do it, okay? Uh, it's good for promotions and stuff if you ever wish to do it. Apart from that, it would be ready to go. Um, so I'm sure you know how to do this bit, so I'll cut that short. But eventually you would just hit publish um, and you'd be away. Okay? Um, so hopefully that all makes sense. Listen, my friend, very few people um, as close to me in this world as you. Um, and so please don't hesitate if you want any more help. All right, but until then, uh, God bless you, buddy. Pleasure to speak to you today.